Hello, hello. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you this morning, friend. Sure, my tuber will be ready to go when uh, I switch over. Because I'd hate to have to <laughs> fix that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so she's ready. Yes. Uh, we have gameplay where trouble sips. <laughs> so, just waiting on a few more people, and then we'll uh, get started. Have to pull up everything. Looks like Steam is still updating stuff. Calm down. Calm down just a little bit, please. Calm down. I'm down, please. This, for this being very chill, like, that's not chill. Calm down. Calm down. <clears throat> there we go. I'm placing things in all of the things. Uh. Oh, God. Of course I'm gonna burp on stream, because you know we can't have nice things. <laughs> yes, more hot boy cove. I can't wait. I've been so excited for this gameplay. Like so much. So much. And, ugh. Where do you have six viewers? Oh my god. Hello, friends. Hello. Welcome to stream! I love it. I absolutely love this. Alright, where's OBS? <laughs> I'm a professional streamer, guys, I promise. <laughs> Glad to have you all here. I can't wait to show you Cove, so... <clears throat> We're gonna... Go ahead. Oh! Before I... Okay, let me go ahead and switch to the live. There we go. Now you have treble face as she lives and breathes. We're gonna adjust the picture. Just a little. She's a little too tall. <laughs> Just a little too tall. Only slightly. <clears throat> anyway, um, what I wanted to say was um, with um, hello? Okay. It's just people liking my tweet on Twitter. Cool. Um, So what I wanted to say is um, I wanted to get the opinion of those in chat. Um, I did go ahead and set up a Kofi because evidently that's what the the VTubers and the VAs and ASM artists are all using now. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to know if I um, open commissions, um, would that be a thing that like y'all are interested in or... Am I just, you know, being, being full of myself? Like, that's, that's what I want to know. You burping on stream trouble is just part of the package that, it, exactly. You know, <clears throat> I was, um, recording yesterday. Um, I finally did the commission that somebody won, um, cause my, uh, we did the, the fundraiser stream for Ed, um, when uh to support him and his family um and i offered a commission for myself um as one of the prizes and so i uh yesterday finally got the commission recorded and edited and sent it to the person and they absolutely loved it and it, it got me thinking that like i did realize that um it took me about a month <laughs> unfortunately, to get the thing to them, but, um, um, but, you know, I, I'm all torn if I could do it and do it well. Also, hello! Hello, uh, flyboy! Yes. It's still weird to see flyboy sword man, because I just see flyboy. All the time. So, I don't know. You'll, you'll have to tell me the, the story later of why it's Flyboy Swordman. Hmm. 
Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's get into what you guys came here for, which is the lovely, um, usual handle was taken. Gotcha. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get you into the, this one? There it is. Okay. I couldn't remember what, um, what it was using. Um, all right, let's go ahead and pull up. I'm a professional streamer, guys, I promise. Pull that up and stop Pretzel Rock. Because we're going to have some lovely uh, game music here in a second. Am I? And we're waiting. Don't screw me over, Steam. Don't be a jerk. Uh, I'd that. Come on, Steam. Please. I think it's Rosie, not Rose. Rosie and Cove is the, <clears throat> the lovely the ship. Steam, when I told you to update stuff, I didn't think you would. <gasps> hear it. I hear it. Oh, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Oh, y'all can't even see. This is so stupid. Go ahead and take it. Look at that. Oh, we're back. We're back, ladies and germs. Well, now we're back, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Um, so let's see. We have a couple different moments that we can choose from. We have shopping, grown up, long day, sandcastle, fireflies. And I think we can just choose whichever. And then after we do these moments, then we hit, and then summer ended. Um, and when summer ends, then we go on to the next step and we learn. So right now, um, if I remember correctly, where we are with Cove is, yes, this is the same game. Um, so what we did is we got through, like, I guess the prologue of the, the game. So we got to establish, like, our characters and... All that and it did say there were gonna be things such as moments um, <clears throat> and then when you have the different moments then you get to pick them and um, you know, <clears throat> work through what those moments are so we can do as many or as few as we want so uh, I love shopping and it's already got a picture of a pretzel so I'm gonna go ahead and choose hmm <clears throat> Oh, I have to remember what voices I gave these guys. <laughs> Come back before it's dark, all right, sport? The familiar voice drifted across the street and drew your attention away from the snail you had been watching inch slowly across the pavement. Ah, there they are! There they are! Oh my god. I'm going to turn my gain down just for stream because I do not want to blow out y'all's eardrums today. Is not a thing we want to do. Okay. <clears throat> Cove waited in front of his dad, pushing his green hair back out of his face. More the breeze was blowing it over his glasses. I feel that. So hard. So hard. Hi, Gabe. Welcome to stream. Just getting started, so grab some popcorn, grab your favorite snack, grab your lunch if you so choose because it is lunch time for us on the east coast uh sit back relax and enjoy the treble simpery <laughs> uh he looked to be paying only a mild amount of attention attention as he was being handed a few slips of hey money hey. it reminded you of when you'd first met mr holden Although he's probably not paying Cove to be friends with himself. <laughs> yeah, 
No. Hey Z! Welcome to chat! Yes. Well, relax. This is a chill-ish stream, because, you know, treble simping, so. <laughs> Trying to keep a good eye on chat, so if you see the VTuber uh, turn to the side, like she is now, that's because I'm reading chat. Cove's dad seemed to feel your gaze somehow, or maybe you made a noise, because a second later, his eyes were on you. He waved you over with a smile. He looked happy to see you, but you still felt a little weird for getting caught. You gotta learn how to be more. <laughs> Trouble simping anticipates. I mean, okay. Okay, to be fair, like, can we, can we just look? Like, first off, the boy that's, like, the love interest for my character right now is super cute. But, like, his dad. His dad. I swear. <gasps> ah. Anyway, you rushed your hands together to free them of sand, then jogged over to join the two, smiling at Ko first, and then his dad. Rosie! Rosie, hi! How's it going? Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> the simping starts now. <clears throat> Good to see you again. What excitement are you up to today, Rosie? Taking a walk. I found a pretty cool snail across the road. There's lots of snails around here. Mr. Holden grinned at you kindly. After you finished answering the question, Mr. Holden's attention returned to Cove, who was preoccupied with folding the bills he had into Hmm, <clears throat> sounds fun. Cove was about to hit the stores by the beach. Why don't you go with him? You gave a ready nod, turning to squint in the direction of the stores like you could see the goods they had to offer all the way from where you stood. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Great! I'm sure you guys will have lots, will have loads of fun. Wow, I can read. Mr. Holden reached into his pocket and pulled out a leather wallet filled with money. You found it odd since your mom's only ever seemed to have cards in theirs. Here. He, lean he leaned in to pass a crisp ten to Cove, giving him a wink and a whisper. Get something for your friend, too. Good kid. Good kid! I'm dead! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna see if I can turn up their voice. Can! <gasps> Beautiful. That's my boy. Cove's dad ruffled his son's hair as he was straightening back up. The bill in his hand still held out towards the Take care. Cove accepted the bill after a second and slipped it into his pocket. Then, with one last nod to his dad, he turned and started walking. He followed after him, intrigued at the possibilities this outing might bring. He really is cute, Anne. Why does he look so melancholy? Like, I want to just give you a hug. Can I hug you? Do I have consent to hug? Please. <laughs> consent to hug, please. Oh, goodness. Also, today's stream is um, powered by Treble's favorite drink, uh, Dr. Pepper. Had to get. And the mama! Um, sorry, got a phone call in the middle of that. And I was like, ah, what, what do, what do? Okay. Why am I falling? You know, Anna, Anna, it's the same thing as falling for a book character. Same difference. Same. So. <clears throat> Uh, Cove strayed towards the gentle tide, creeping up the sand, and fell in. It was a nice day, the sun was shining, and there weren't many clouds in the sky, though the wind coming off the ocean kept from being hot. 
I took in a deep breath, enjoying the scent of salt in it. That's a fun thing. I've actually been on the been at the beach when one of the few times I've actually ventured uh, outside and on the beach and whatever. Um but it's super cool. Oh, I meant to send a message. It I Clacky. Here's your clicky clacky ASMR for the stream. You know, we have to have the burp, the click clack ASMR, and everything else that follows. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. <clears throat> anyway, but yes, that is a great scent to smell. Really, really love that scent. Of course, I could do without the sand. Sand could be, you know, like it couldn't, like, I could, I could take it if it was Cold sand is really fun. A warm sand on a cold night. Oh, so good. So good. Um. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's the only reason uh, I'm burping so much is because of uh, carbonation in my beverage of choice. You know, Anna, um, I've actually seen some peeks at, like, what he looks like as an adult. And I don't know if he's ripped yet or not, but I can tell you he's very handsome. I only simp for the treble ASMR. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> uh, when you looked at Cove, he was dragging his feet through the sand a little, and you slowed down to wait for him. The co Sand is really, really hard to walk in. I will tell you. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, his eyes searched the ground in... Ooh! Call back to what they were looking for? For shells. Poe started... Startled a little at the sound of your voice and mumbled a... Sort of... <laughs> ah! <laughs> If you see any, you can let me know. You could manage that. You dropped your view to the sand, walking carefully so you didn't step on it. Stepping on a friggin' shell. Oh my lord. Those are... Those hurt. Really hurt. Like, ugh. Shells. I have yet to uh, find sea creatures or crabs. Um... I'll going to the beach, but oh my lord. <clears throat> you were good at finding shells. You had a lot of them at home and always found new ones whenever you visited the beach. The comforting sound of the waves filled the silence with pleasant white noise. And you played a little game with yourself as you walked along, getting as close to the water as possible without getting That's a fun game to play. Oh, hold on. What what is this? Hold on. Oh Cyber, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully you joined the chaos and craziness. Six solid followers. I love this. I love this. We're at 38 followers for the channel. Ah! Oh! Literally, if we have like 12 more, I think. Yeah, 12 more, I'm one step closer to getting affiliate. And that's when you guys can start subbing to the channel and all that fun stuff. So tell your friends. <gasps> I don't know why that auto-corrected. <laughs> Sorry, having having a moment to uh the thing. Uh 
Um. <clears throat> anyway, let's let's get back. Momentary uh, squirrel moment has. But yes, please tell your friends. Get all the follows that you can. Uh, we are twelve sub twelve followers away uh, from reaching that first milestone uh, of affiliate. Um, we are hitting it with our like different days, but please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm wanting nothing more in my life. Like, if I can get to affiliate, I can start getting uh, monetization through Twitch, which I feel like I could get monetization through Twitch faster than I could get through YouTube. Because while I do have the subscriber count for YouTube, I don't have the watch hours. So um, I feel like it's going to be easier to get monetization through Twitch first and foremost through the affiliate program than it is to get it through. So if you want to support me, I still need 12 more followers. Get your friends, your family. Send the word around to join the trouble chaos. Join the mischief army. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, ba 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 ba. It resulted in you having to run up the sand quickly when a wave rushed in more than a few times. And although Cove threw you threw a few glances your way. Guys, I can read, I swear. Um, <clears throat> he didn't say a word. Um he usually go lots of things. Mm. Oh, I was like, Z, you good, friend? You just send it. I was very confused by your message. <clears throat> anyway, lots of things. I like bodyboarding and volleyball and surfing and other everything and stuff. <laughs> I questioned my keyboard and my typing skills. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, the idea of standing on a big board while the waves propelled you towards shore was mystifying. I'm not allowed to surf. It looks hard. Well, once you get the hang of it, I could show you sometime. But I'm also not supposed to surf right now because I have this. He lifted up one arm, showing off the glaring pink cast wrapped around his wrist. Yeah. That's sad for him. Cove still smiled. <laughs> Such a pleasure. Also, join the chaos. Isn't that normal for whoever you are? In, on in all honesty, Cyber, it is. It really is. But thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you thought this nonchal- What the- Watch. You're gonna keep telling me to get up. I'm gonna fight you and send you into the trash can. <clears throat> Just fighting all of my technology. Uh, you thought this nonchalant attitude towards the injury. Yeah. Also, I like con collecting stuff that's on bells, sand dollars. I found a shark tooth once. <gasps> I want a shark tooth. Wait, I have one. I gotta find. Gosh damn it, this is logging me. You did? Me. Me, Rosie. Me. Oh, stretched out his forefinger and thumb. It was this long. This big. This big, guys. That was somehow both scary and delightful. No way! I mean it! I still have it under my bed! He's so happy and excited. Oh, sweet baby bee. Sweet baby bee. You have to remember to ask him to show it to you. So... What about you? What do you do out here? I did. I was! Oh my god, I found one more place where I hadn't posted. 
I had a big server that I I'm dumbass. What about you? What do you do out here? I don't come to a lot. I like swimming. I like fish. Castles. I would love to swim. Cove's lips curled up in a small smile. Me too. It occurred to you that you hadn't been swimming in a while. There was just so much to do before school started up again. Little time. Ain't that the point. Uh... Oh lord. Uh, once you reached the shopping area, the noise level grew exponentially. No longer just waves and footsteps, but the chatter of people enjoying the lovely summer day, the call of birds trying to find bits of food left behind, and lots of salespeople trying to get your attention. Sniff the air as you walk beside the hill. Smell the ocean, but there were other scents too. Pizza, pretzels. I want a donut. Also pretzels. I I I my love language is that is my love language. surrounding the area seemed to fill you and there was a bounce in your skin. You began looking at all the There were so many things to do, you didn't know where to begin. You looked at Cove hoping he was just as excited as you were. Cove was glancing from one side of the street to the other to look at you. Couldn't quite work out. Um. What's that? Go pointed to a large crowd of people gathered near a large, colorful blooming from their middle. You could see past... <laughs> you could see past the adults who were blocking the way. You couldn't see past! Wow! Oh. English subscription is definitely running out. I had some uh, dental work done this morning, so I think there must have been something that ass or that nothing missing. We're trying though. Today might not be the day to record if I'm already flubbing up words this easy. Because I was going to record, um, because I didn't record anything for the channel yesterday. I just did, um, the commission and um, this little, like, excerpt that somebody had been wanting from me or that I had promised a while back. But it just never gotten around to. So, I was like, okay, fine. So I was gonna, like, record part four of Althea today, you know, and... Uh, hello! Juria777, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the chaos, and, uh, hope you enjoy your stay. We are simping for a... Boy with Akamore. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, definitely. Definitely not gonna. <laughs> You're going to take us cheese and crackers. <laughs> we're we're simping for a boy with aquamarine eyes and uh all that fun fun things uh hello ethan thank you so much for joining the stream i hope you enjoy the simpery that is going on today the uh, stay for the chaos <clears throat> Hey, we're at 39 followers now! 11 more! 11 more and we are one more step closer to affiliate. Ah! This is... Uh, 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. This could be a thing. This could be a thing for me. I can earn money from this. Not a bleh, bleh, bleh. Not only like starting to open commissions, um, but like Twitch affiliate as well. Like, ah, we need still like five more streams. I think technically, I have to stream for like seven or eight. Days. Um, but yeah, definitely we could knock this out and get it, get it rolling. Anyway, you couldn't see past the adults who were blocking the way, but you knew there must be something worth seeing. Without another word, the two of you hurried over to see what all of the commotion was. Feast your eyes on the amazing Alexander! In the center of the crowd was a man with a tall hat and a funny green coat that had three long... <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hi, Beck. <laughs> Welcome to stream. I'm glad you could join us. You've not missed much of the simpery, but you've missed some simpery. But it's okay. We still have... We still have a good long while. Uh, we're on our first moment with Cove uh, in stage one. Oh my god. You... Treble is just grumbling. <laughs> I wasn't- I wasn't strong to begin with, let alone, like... <laughs> We are, we are a bunch of emotions already today. Like, we're simping, we're giggling, we're screaming and breaking eardrums because Beck joins the chat. It's fine. Absolutely fine. We're 11 subscribers. Uh, 11 subscribers. I'm used to being on YouTube. I'm... There are 11 followers uh, on the Twitch channel from making one more goal for affiliate. Um... And, uh... <laughs> oh, God. There was a little table next to him with a cloth hanging over it that read The Amazing Alexander in glittery gold script. I have caused chaos. My job is done. Indeed. Indeed, Beck. Why tell people his name if it's already on a sign? Both hummed, hummed with understanding. Then turned to walk away just as the amazing Alexander began shuffling a deck of cards. Maybe we should stay and watch? O glanced back at the man. He then briefly lifted his arm up off of his sides before returning them to the face. There we go. There it is. Here we did. Grinned, waving for him to follow you, and raced back and in the crowd. With that, it began. Magic Man pulled one card out of the deck, showing it to Unlooker. Don't disappear, you bitch! Go ass here. Four of Diamonds. Remember that. Watch close. Watch closely. You did, squeezing through a few of the adult onlookers to get a better view. Suddenly, man snapped his fingers and the card just disappeared like back into the ether. <laughs> no, you listen. I am the streamer here. I have autonomous power. You had talk. <clears throat> Whoa! Cove is unamused. Gosh dang it. The amazing Alexander, who had earned his title, turned his head and looked directly at you. He reached out with a kind smile. What is this behind your ear?
Oh, that would be fun. You backed away. It wasn't enough to deter him, and the crowd of people gathered behind you made it impossible to move any further. You s he smelled like popcorn and candy when he stepped closer, and you swallowed anxiously. He felt a tug, and then he pulled the four of diamonds out from behind your ear. What? You knew that it couldn't really have come from behind your ear, but you still didn't get how he'd done that. How he'd done it. There was light applause from the crowd, and the man gave a deep bow. This is for you! The magician plucked a pair of balloons from a clump of them tied down to his table. Both were in the shape of a dolphin instead of being a normal circle. And one for your friend, too. Thank you for being my assistant. We simp for trouble over there, points at YouTube. We simp for trouble over there, points at Discord. Now we shall simp for trouble over here, points at Twitch. <laughs> That's that's very true, Cypher. That's very true. <laughs> you just said you would disappear into the ether. You just said it. Also, don't make me message Ash. I will fight you. Rude. Wow. Now you really were grateful he chose you. After that, he went to someone else in the crowd. Pick a card, any card. Mm. My uncle does that every time he visits, not the balloons, the stuff with cards. Bo spoke plainly while reaching over to take the dolphin that had been designated for him. <laughs> can, can we get the sims to march over to Twitch and like I'm just here as Batman slash discount corpse of the chat <laughs> Lord have mercy Yes, Cyber's energy is great. I love it. Love it, love it. Uh, you saw a magic trick and you got great balloon. That was more than enough to make it worth make it a worthwhile event. You thought if you could find a card to practice with, maybe make it disappear too. The crowd started to clear some, and you noticed to the side there was a whole rack of brightly colored kaleidoscopes on. Um I know which one Beck would pick. Beck would pick. They like Rubik's Cube. <sighs> I would pick up the clay. Ooh, these are cool. You shifted your balloon string to the other hand so you could bring the mysterious tunnel to your eye. A whole palette of colors appeared right in front of you, spinning into all kinds of different shapes as you twisted the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Hove picked one up and looked through, twisting the tube at the end. After a second, he set it back on the rack, moving to the other side of the stall. He went under the awning, careful of his own floating dolphin. He joined him. Uh, did you have places like this in your town? Cove blinked at you for a moment, and you wondered if you should have... You shouldn't have asked... You knew how much he missed that. Not really. Why are you over in the corner? You nodded in understanding. <laughs> Itchy nose. Anyways, going back to the sipping trouble. Yep. You nodded understanding, looking blah, 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 looking over at the stalls nearby. <laughs> oh, this! I want the turtle. I want the turtle. While Cove looked at the sand pels, you were drawn to the table with colorful keychains. 
out on it. They were sewn in the shape of sea creatures, and there was a plaque that read, Handmade, standing proudly in front. There were lots of different types. You saw a dolphin, a shark, a crab, a turtle. I want the turtle! Your hand stopped on the sleeping turtle, just barely poking its head out of its shell. Out of the shell. It had flecks of metallic green on its back that caught the sunlight when you picked up. You remembered the turtles you had seen in the movie. You had been mesmerized by the way they gently glided through the Turtle! Trouble really likes turtles, by the way. So, if you ever- if you ever want to, uh... Love the treble. Treble really likes turtles. I think- I think if I could, I would have a turtle plushie. But I honestly, in all of my stuff, do not have a turtle. Sad time. I think that's what that's what I would get if I ever got a, co a cozy artwork or whatever of like the treble character. Um, I would love to um, have her like cuddling a stuffed turtle. Like that's her comfort animal. Cause that's my comfort animal. Very cute. You know, between that and like dragons and unicorns, you know. I like a lot of animals, but turtles are one of my favorite. They're my favorite sea creatures. Put it that way. You were instantly enamored. I am always enamored. Checking the price, though, your heart fell. Six dollars. You didn't know much about money, but you thought that was a lot to spend on one thing. It really is. Six dollars for a keychain, even if it's handmade. Six dollars is a fair price, though. I am a dice goblin. I am a dice goblin. But dice goblins can have comfort animals. You rarely had more than a $5 bill to your name. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Though that changed the day you met Cove and his dad, you still had the $20 bill Mr. Holden gave you hidden away in your room. It was a grand sum of money, but you couldn't spend something that was at home instead of in your pocket. Maybe you'd have to ask your moms to bring you out here again one day now that you knew what you wanted. Is that what you want? Huh? Oh, it's six dollars. I didn't bring any money. All right. Ah! Uh -huh! Sorry. It's fine. You don't have to. Cove didn't mind that. He took the keychain from your hands, and that was that. He was holding a small yellow bucket for himself too. I was always gonna get you something. I already got the money for it. You smiled, pleased to have things work out. It was nice of Cove's dad to let Cove buy something for you. I had to remember to thank him next time you saw him. After Cove paid, the two of you stepped out of the store side by side, your balloon dolphins knocking together, spiraling around in the air. You watched Cove hold up his new pail to his face, examining it thoroughly. Hello, number 5850. Nice to uh, see you, friend. Welcome to stream. Hey, Cove? Yeah? I really like this keychain. Nice. Cove looked further down the street where different food carts were left up. He rested his non-cast arm over his Just as he did, yours let out a light growl. It is a fantasy world! I normally, like... Before I started working my server job, did not carry a whole lot of cash on me. So, like, five dollars was sometimes all I had to my name on me at that point. Not, a, not to, like, count the plastic or whatever, because I have a debit card or whatever. You know, as most people do, you know, have a debit card in this. You know, like... Yeah. He hadn't even... You had... <laughs> Words. 
Words. You hadn't eaten since breakfast, and after all of this wandering around, you were definitely ready for some lunch. Let's get some food. Yeah! You two wandered around a short while, looking at all the delicacies that were available. Everything looked delicious, and as the different smells, both sweet and salty, wafted over to you, the stomach growled even louder. Ugh! Uh. <gasps> Ragdoll! Hi, friend! I'm so happy to see you! Also, bye, Beck! Thank you for joining! Come on in, Ragdoll! Treble is simping over cute boy with green hair! <gasps> Tanazi! Hi, friend! Whole party is here! Oh my god! I love it! I love it! <laughs> Happy travel, Squeak! Happy travel, Squeak! Uh, after passing up hot dogs, snow cones, ice cream, and pizza... <laughs> you both agreed on pretzels! Okay, um... Okay, okay, okay. Let me put this... Let me put... The, let me let me put some perspective on what we're doing. So... Um... This is called Our Life. Uh, it is a dating game. Right now, both of us are children. So, I am a full-grown adult. But this is a child. And I am a child in this game. So... Um... So, it's not weird. It's not weird, I promise. Uh, so this is Cove. Uh, he's new to the neighborhood, but you've lived here. Uh, fun fact, my character has two moms, so love that it's LGBTQ friendly. So we're already off to a great start. Um, the dad is really cute. So we're hoping that the boy grows up to be really cute too. Uh, I've seen, I think, adult artwork, but I have not seen anything between child and adult. <laughs> so, we're... <laughs> Check the last stream for all the, the screaming. Uh, you could choose your different pronouns. You could choose how you looked. It was really great. Great. Anyway, um, so you walked in on treble simping, as always, uh, and chaos. <laughs> Face plans into a wall because I was next... <laughs> Door. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> oh my god! I love this. I love this. I'm not gonna get very far. Oh! I just snorted my mango Pepsi through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that you snorted your mango Pepsi, but also mango Pepsi? Really? Flyboy's here! Ragdoll, that's the thing. Flyboy's already here. I love it when Treble laughs. It sounds like chaos has broken through the dam and it's enjoying its fleeting rain over Treble's psyche. <laughs> essentially. Essentially. Yeah, Flyboy's already here. Uh, I think in the- he was in the chat earlier. I don't know if he's still around. Um... He's Flyboy Swordman, uh, is his uh, username. But yeah, he was in here when stream first started. He might be uh, AFK or uh, going to do different things because we've been losing and gaining people. 
Okay, well, okay, okay. I love how we're having a whole discussion here. Mango Pepsi. First off, it's Pepsi. Secondly, um, mango flavored? It's, it's just interesting. So, it's weird because I... Exactly! Exactly! Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. So, first off, I'm not a huge Pepsi drinker. But I just don't get the weird flavors of, like, drinks. Like, cherry seems like a normal flavor to me. But, like, mango? Like, especially, like, a Coke or a Pepsi? Orange vanilla was one of the weird ones that Coke came out with. So, to... I don't know. Mango Pepsi just... It would not be something I would pick up. Let's just put it that way. There are some things you don't mess with, and I'm sure Pepsi is something that, like... Ugh. I imagine this is the entire conversation presently happening in the character's head on screen, which in reality takes three seconds before the next bit of text. Two ideas arguing. Yes. I mean, why would they... Why would they be arguing? Why would my character be arguing about da 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 mango? It's sweet and tangy and full of beautiful, and you shall respect it. But it does burn when snorted. Everything burns when snorted. So does Coke. Ugh. Snort the cocaine. It burns. Ragdoll is the pro mango. So I work with a Coke freestyle machine at work. And let me just tell you, I I can't get over some of the flavors that we have. There can be no greater heresy. Definitely sounding like Tartarus. From the Halo 2 campaign right now. Yeah, sounds about right. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to this. And y'all can continue having this light conversation. Uh, oh! Oh, okay, um. Sure, yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna pause this. So it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna have the background music of this, but we're gonna we're gonna pause, and we're going to sing, because I can actually sing. So we're gonna we're gonna take a moment and stream, because we're we're almost an hour in. So, <clears throat> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ta -da. Happy birthday, dear friend. Thank you so much for joining my stream on your birthday. I hope you have a magical time. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Cyber. Alrighty, uh, now we're gonna get back to the game. Cove got something sweet and cinnamony, and you... Uh. I want the same! I love... Ah! Evidently, my headset decided to tell my battery was... Um, oh, thank you, number 5850 for the follow! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, we're up to 40! Hold on. I don't have my headphones on. Here. Playing for basket turkey. But we're 40. We are now 10 followers away from affiliate. Oh, one more. 10 more. 10 more. I love it. Thank you. I returned and switched to the Twitch app. Oh, good. To Nazi! Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dang. I figured you were... <laughs> and Ragdoll, thank you again. Thank you for the follow. Join the chaos. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the... Mischief Army, as I'm now calling you guys. <laughs> the Chaos Army. 
Oh my gosh. 42! Hey! Ah, my little heart. My little heart. <sighs> I figured y'all were already following me. We are treble sims. I know that says trebles imps, but I think you mean simps. You can already bet you're getting a sub from me. Oh, thank you, Gabe. Oh, yeah, baba. I'm just gonna hide. I'm gonna hide my Kofi link from you, Gabe. Because right now, that's about the only way you can support me. Because I don't have. Um. Oh, okay. You know, I figured you of all people would have. But it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Twitter is still blowing. Imps could not be wrong. We are little gremlins. Yes. Yes, y'all can y'all can be little gremlins. <gasps> That's what you are. You're Trebles imps. Because you're not simps. You're imps. You're doing my bidding. You're causing chaos. Yes! Okay, I love it. I love it. I feel like I'm stepping on somebody's brand, but it's fine. We'll be fine. Okay. Uh, you licked your lips hungrily as the vendor handed over handed your pretzel over. I need to take a big bite. Or the queen. <laughs> I'm not a queen yet. I'll be a queen when I become affiliate. We're up to twelve viewers. Oh my god. Your moms didn't like you to eat too much sugar, but this is a special occasion. Fuck my moms. Sorry. <laughs> I think everybody would want to. I don't know if you've seen my moms, but like, they're amazing. You have to go back to the other stream to, to see them, because I don't know if they'll get shown. <gasps> the little cup of ice. You know what? I would take the little cup of icing that comes with those pretzels and just do that like a shot. Honestly. Like, I can, I can get behind some like Annie Ann's pretzels and like their little cups of icing. Oh, oh, happiness in a cup right there. Happiness in a cup. Itchy nose. Itchy nose every time I come on stream. This is the second stream where my nose. Fuck you, bitch. Okay. <laughs> so so ragdoll i have to i have to tell you like annie ann's is like my shiz uh it's actually how i met uh my boyfriend is through annie ann's great great love story uh founded by pretzels so i need annie ann's to sponsor me because that'd be great like i need an annie ann's sponsorship please like buy all their pretzels because i love them annie ann's and dr pepper like <sighs> Mm. Annie Ann's. Annie Ann's is a company that, well, we're eating pretzels on stream because evidently that's what the characters chose. So yes, I want pretzels. So I'm going to make y'all want pretzels. Um, Annie Ann's is a pretzel company that's based here in the U.S. So I apologize if you were a European viewer or someone outside of the United States. Uh, but yes, Annie Ann's is a company uh, and their specialty is pretzels, and they actually have really, really good pretzels. Um, what's the, what's the other, I know there's one, like, in my mall that was, like, a competing pretzel company that wasn't Annie Ann's. Um, ah, gotcha. But yeah, Annie Ann's is, like, absolutely amazing. Uh, if you ever get a chance to visit the U.S., uh, go buy Annie Ann's. Um, I highly recommend a cinnamon sugar pretzel and getting the icing that goes with it because you can never go wrong with too much sweetness. I have a whole sweet tooth, so as long as it's not chocolate. Metal Spider, welcome back! Glad to see you're here. Glad to see you're here. Always good to see your name in chat. What on God's green earth? Metal spider! Woohoo! Woohoo! Alright. 
<clears throat> you found an empty table close enough to the beach that the grit of the sand made terrible noises when you dragged the chairs out to sit down. I personally like their plain pretzels with their cheese dip. They don't do cheese dip. That's why. But I can get behind their flavored lemonades, their cherry lemonade. Oh, the frozen one is my favorite. When my boyfriend and I were dating. Um, he surprised me uh, one day when he was still working at the store because he used to make the pretzels at the store. So he made like tiny pretzels and he made like, um, like a whole cup of them, just little tiny pretzels and baked them and then brought me a really large like cherry lemonade. And it was love. It was love at first tiny pretzel. Um, question for you in the chat. Do you know about those sugar cookies with frosting on them that gets mixed opinions? Um, are you talking about the sugar cookies that they come out with every holiday? So like right now, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So like they're green for Easter. They'll be like yellow or whatever the hell. Um, yellow and purple and whatever. And like for winter, they come out to be blue. Okay. Those. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Those. I fuck with those. Like those are chef's kiss. Like, love those all of the time. All of those. Um, I will, like, if I want to go to a party, that is normally what I will bring. Unless, like, for me and my friends, like, I would, I would, like, love those. But we need reference images. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna pause gameplay. We're gonna pause gameplay. <laughs> Um, so let's hide this real quick. Let's do window caption. Oh, that's not what I want. I want window caption. Villa Firefox. There we go. Okay, so it's capturing my Twitch right now. So we're going to go to Google. And we're going to look for sugar... Uh, I don't know what those are called. Thick sugar cookies? <laughs> what are they called? There they are. Okay. These, these bitches. These bitches. These bitches. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. I want a picture of them. I want a picture. Show me the picture. So they're these bitches. These bitches. They come out in orange for Halloween. Like green for St. Patrick's Day right now. Normally they're pink. The pink bitches are the ones I fuck with. Like these. These. They're so good. So good. Good. Anyway, so we're gonna hide that, put the game capture back up, and go back to our game now that. Yes, evidently Among Us cookies came up when I uh, searched thick sugar cookies, because, you know, you gotta have Among Us in. So. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You should have eaten before the stream. I had, um, um, I, I ate a chicken biscuit and drank some Dr. Pepper before stream because I was still numb from the dentist and, uh, still managed to eat because I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to be like, fully unnumb by the time stream- like, I will be fully unnumb by the time stream starts. So I still need to eat, so I just tried my hardest. Um... I know how to make funnel cakes. I really want someone to make funnel cake or so I don't feel so chubbo when I eat them by myself. Me! Me! No, no, no. Okay, so... 5850. Um, 
we those are just special sugar cookies but that's um what those are like the thick sugar cookies that like uh, Gabe was talking about that we um that he wanted the opinion on uh, I think those are technically more of a again United States thing um but definitely I fuck with those bitches Anyway, uh, last time I had a funnel cake was at the fair. Fair funnel cakes are top tier. Uh, yes, they're going on a date. And chicken biscuit. Um, so think of like a bread roll. Um, but more flaky kind of thing. Um, not as like dense, like less bread. Or just shapeless. Hello, Tommy Sass. Welcome to chat. Welcome to uh, treble simping for fictional characters. <laughs> and uh, evidently talking about food controversies like the fat sugar cookies that um, that are uh, popular or what have you. But yeah, chicken biscuit is... Because um, biscuits are definitely a thing that are American, but when you think biscuit, it's not, um, it's not like a cookie biscuit, um, the ye. Um, I'm good, I'm good, uh, I am, um, <clears throat> just taking a break right now, so we're just chatting, uh, because we've stopped <laughs> reading, um, but yeah, definitely. But yeah, welcome on in, Tommy. Uh, come in, smell the roses, stay for the chaos. And if you really like what you see, go ahead and hit that follow button. It means a lot to me, trying to get to affiliate. And uh, we're on our way. <clears throat> These balloons are going to make it hard to eat. Cove placed his bucket on the table as he start as he stared at his still balled up hand that was wrapped around the string. You opened your mouth to agree before an idea hit you. I know. Carefully placing your pretzel somewhere it wouldn't get sandy, you dug the balloon dolphin out of Cove's hand and tied it in a delicate bow around his wrist. Oh. Cove bounced his arm up and down in place, testing the stability of your knot. After watching his balloon jostle around but remain attached, he seems he smiled, satisfied. Can you do it for me? He repeated the ritual. Cove struggled somewhat with the cast restricting his fingers on one hand and the string already tangled around the other. Okay. Hmm, got it. The two of you spent a moment admiring your handiwork, both hands now free to allow easy munching on your pretzels. Well, oh, bye Z, thank you so much for joining. You bit into the doughy treat, savoring the taste on your tongue with a smile as you looked out over. How relaxing! On the total chaos next to ocean. <laughs> After a time, you finished your pretzel. We're done before Cove. It's boring not having anything to do. Pulled on the string of your balloon to bring it down to your level. You held the dolphin in your hands, manipulating it to make it look like it was jumping through the air. You turned to face towards the beach. It almost looked like it was swimming in the waves like a real dolphin. Ugh. A laugh came from your side. When you glance back at Cove, he had left the remaining parts of his pretzel on the wrapper, and he was gripping his dolphin, too. Oh! Uh, so, uh, Tommy, you're joining us. This is part, uh... This is the second uh, stream where we've been playing this. Um, generally, um, just a quick overview, this is a dating game. So you're following uh, how the main character, which is yourself, you can make them however you want. You can give them pronouns, make them male, female, genderless, you know, all that cool stuff. 
Uh, it is LGBTQ friendly, so um, that is good plus for me because I already love that. Uh, we had a whole freak out session last stream. You can uh, go watch the VOD on Twitch uh, or on my YouTube channel. Um, Jurassic Memer, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you can find it on Twitch or on YouTube. I'll go ahead and drop the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, in, uh, why is it that when I need my YouTube channel, I don't have it? <laughs> what YouTuber doesn't have their own channel? I think. I have to put this in my stream time. Is from Um, the, there's a link. Thank you, Tanazi. Beautiful. Thank you. I, I am, I am, uh, definitely, oh, it's in the Twitch description. I did not realize that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot I had it linked down there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um. Yes, definitely, uh, check it out. I forgot I had it linked down there. Like, I need to throw it in the chat! And I'm like, oh wait, we're fine. We're fine. So, yeah, uh, you can find it on my- find it as a VOD here on Twitch for a couple days. Or, uh, I am uploading the Twitch VODs to YouTube, so you can see the very first Twitch stream, as well as the stream where we started this game, which was last stream, last week on Thursday. I'm trying to stream every Thursday, uh, right around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we'll go for about two and a half hours. But yeah. Um, thank you for joining us, number 5850. Uh, glad you could uh, stay on for as long as you did. Uh, be sure to watch the VOD if you miss us too much. And uh, hopefully see you next stream. Perfect. Alright. Um, so we named our dolphin Splash. Uh, they are a movie star. Oh, ho, ho. oh, oh, yes, from from the toy box. Yes, got it, got it, got it, got it. I have have things, but yes, please sleep well and uh, see you around, friend. <clears throat> uh, their trainers use fish and treats help them perform tricks. They're the most famous dolphin in the world. You sighed, wishing you could star in a movie with a real life dolphin. Me too. Me too. What's yours? Cove considered this question, placing the balloon against the table and resting his free arm against it in contemplation. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I apologize, but again, you can always go back and watch. I know some people don't want to watch odds because odds they're not as much fun as catching it live but yeah definitely um if ever you can catch it or if you if you watch the stream on youtube that also helps me um because i am trying to get monetized on youtube twitch affiliate uh is a little closer and it helps there um but definitely watching the vod on youtube gets me those watch hours watch hours means i'm closer to monetization i'm not even halfway to the watch hour count, um, but I've been at the subscriber count for probably about a month already. Um, but definitely come back and watch, and there's definitely other other things. And when summer starts, because uh, I see you're in school, definitely catch me on your uh, summer days off, and we'll have lots of fun. Ah, uh, crossing in contemplation. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the burp. I knew I needed one. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, it's... With a loud pop, the dolphin exploded into ribbons. Uh -huh. uh, bye, Anna. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, no. Oh, he's tearing up. Oh, baby. Why? I know. For a second, all Cove did was gape in shock like you. 
Then his cheeks puffed up, squinting his eyes, and you saw tears start to glisten. Aw, thank you! Rosie! Oh, he was in my name! <laughs> Happy Trouble Squeak. Happy Trouble Squeak. I think we would give Cove our balloon. You can have mine. That was better than letting him cry more. Cove sniffled, glancing up at the balloon, then back at you. No, it's yours. I don't want to take it from you. It's okay, really. Cove shook his head. Even though it wasn't your fault, you still felt bad. Still, the offer seemed to lift Cove's spirit. That was good. The passing of Cove's balloon was the last major event of your adventure. In the end, the two of you headed back late that afternoon. You separated on the beach while Cove went straight home with a brand new sand pill and you decided to sit for a while. You watched the waves, the sunset, fiddling with your new keychain. Another summer day was drawing to a close. It had been a good one, except for the sad final note. Booking D-Day? Hmm. Fun. That's so cute! That was so cute! Okay, I picked the first one. Uh, so y'all pick. Do we want to do Grown Up? Long day, sandcastle, or fireflies. I'm leaning towards sandcastle, but I want to know what you guys think. Ooh. We never had, well, I take that back. We did have cooking classes in school. Um, that was Olmec. Lovely. Fireflies. I like to make myself believe that planet Earth. <laughs> oh goodness goodness i like the fireflies that sounds cute that just sounds because i want to try and get through three of these today right. <gasps> lizzie look at our cute little sister or sorry older sister i should say we're the younger sister oh my god <sighs> <sighs> Hmm, stretch. Okay. Um. All right. Tomorrow we're going to catch fire. Tonight we're going to catch fireflies. At this bunt, a bed, bed, bed. Oh, that that. <laughs> um. At this blunt declaration from your sister, you looked up from your macaroni and cheese dinner. I want macaroni and cheese. I'm so sorry. Fireflies were a familiar sight over summer, coming out on warm nights to dance. The night was particularly balmy. You knew they were bound. There were bound to be a ton of them. Around. Look at the mom! I love her. I love her so. Oh, you are, are you? They hadn't answered for sure yet, but. If that's what Lizzie said you'd do, that's probably what you'd end up doing. Lizzie was an expert at getting her way, having mastered the art of it by the time she could talk. That's a good idea, Lizzie. Can we, can we, Mrs. Daniels? Milo tapped his fork against the table excitedly, his face lighting up as he looked at Lizzie. It was unusual for Shiloh to still be here. Like always, his mom had to bring him over really early in the morning before her job started. But normally, she would have picked him up by now. She called before dinner to let your moms know she'd be late. 
You didn't hear why. Probably more work things. You thought maybe getting to hang out with Shiloh for longer is what made Lizzie want to keep running around outside. Staying at home and watching TV was never an option for her with guests over. That's why you were pretty sure you'd get your moms to agree. Gotcha. Hmm. Well then. Oh! Uh... Chad... Deck... Chadecti? I can't, uh, pronounce that. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Chad. Thank you so much for the follow! I can't pronounce that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're six more away! Six! Oh my god! Twitch affiliate, here I come! Then I'm gonna have all the subs. That sounds wrong. No, wait, that's my brain that took that wrong way. Sorry. Whoopsie doodles. Hmm. I swear, I need to blow my- Ah! I know, right? Like, I can't wait. I can't wait. You're six away now. I'm so excited. So excited. My uh, One of my friends told me to start streaming on Twitch. Uh, just so... Because I had a whole scare of, like, almost losing my job. Um, back at Valentine's Day. So I was like, um, let's... Let's let's see if we can like build up something. So that's why I'm thinking about maybe opening commissions soon. I went ahead and got a Kofi. Um haven't posted it yet cuz um a little terrified that people would just either A throw money at me or B um throw money at me just to to do different things. Um Hey! Chadek. Okay, okay, perfect. I didn't know what you wanted to be called because I was like, um, what? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for the follow, and I'm so glad you could join stream. Uh, hopefully you get to save for the chaos. Uh, anyway, yeah, no. Um, so friends started suggesting that I start streaming on Twitch. Um, thank you, Tanazi, for the, the, the chopping up of that because... Brain was not working today. Um, but yeah, a friend was like, oh yeah, just start streaming on, um, oh my lord, my nose. <sighs> ah! Anyway, um, friend was like, just start streaming on Twitch, you can reach affiliate really quickly, and then you can hit growth really quickly. And so, um, we've already had 123 views, I don't know if it's of this stream, or if that's just in general of the channel, seeing that we're playing this game. Um, and we're already up to 44 followers. You have to have 50 uh, to reach affiliate. And I think I have to stream five more times to hit the day requirement. Um, and I think that's it for Twitch affiliate. Because um, I've already got the minimum of like three viewers per however long you stream. And then um, I can't remember how we're Ikva. Tadik. Tadik. Ikva. Tadik. Ikva. I'm gonna get that mixed up, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna call you, uh, Tadik. Tadik. There you go. We'll, we'll run with that, because that's about, uh, all I can do. But thank you for helping with that of that pronunciation. Because English is hard. The treble subscriptions to English is running out. We're seeing that the more I read um, through this reading-based um, um, dating game. Yeah. Uh, well, it's already dark out there. Lizzie gave Mom the best puppy dog eye she could, slowly spooning mac and cheese into her mouth while you waited. Um, uh, waited there for their response. Sure. 
she sounds so pretty. Those are both my moms, by the way. Uh, because evidently, um, gay up in here. So we have two moms. That was great. My nose run off. Let them go. Nights like this don't happen every day. Your parents exchanged a look, then mom eventually sighed and nodded back. Yes! Fine. Fine, fine. Just make sure you stay on the hill behind our house with all of the poppies, okay? Duh. Duh, mom. That's where most of them are. The idea had only just been planted in your head, but already you could just picture all the glowing lights spread out in front of you. Like the fairies from the bedtime stories mommy reads you. Read sometime. Blish. <laughs> Lizzie and Shiloh started digging into their food, and it soon became a race to see who could finish their dinner first. Isn't that great? Aren't you excited to go outside and play, Rosie? You gave a non-committal shrug. <laughs> Me! Rosie is just mad because I always catch the most. Lizzie boasted proudly, her mouth full of food, and Mom gave her a stern look. Elizabeth! A knock on the door interrupted Mom before she could no doubt scold her sister. I'll get it! Your big sister jumped out of her seat and ran over to the door, pulling it open without even looking out the window to see who it was. Huh? Huh? You shifted in your seat to try and get a glimpse of the unexpected guest. Hi. Good evening, Cove. Your mommy had already walked to the door by the time you managed to see past Shiloh's floppy, flappy hat. <laughs> oh, Cove, hi, you're here. Cove smiled at your enthusiastic greeting and you hoped mommy would ask him to stay. It didn't matter why he was here, it meant he could join you in all the catching. Join you all in catching fireflies. Then, for a few seconds, Cove said nothing. He only stood there and looked at, at your mommy for, with a face almost like he was considering turning around and leaving. My dad told me to drop this off because I guess he borrowed it from you. Cove took a familiar screwdriver from out of his large side pocket. Eyes now dropped to the floor. We left ours back home when we moved. Great! Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Here, why don't you come inside for a bit? Lizzie crossed her arms and lifted her chin. Cove shrugged, and Mom stood from the table, too. I'll give your dad a call and let him know you got here all right. Look at little Shiloh. Isn't he cute? But not as cute as Cove! Ah! <sighs> anyway. Cove shuffled fully inside, eyes remaining on the ground. Mommy closed the door behind him. Hi. Hi, Calv. Can't remember what I gave. <laughs> Shiloh gave Cove a friendly smile while, wa while waving by holding up his hand and opening and closing his fingers. Cove nodded in response. Uh, you could see Lizzie eyeing you for mentioning the excursion to an outsider, but she'd get over it. Okay, yes, uh, Ragdoll, to answer your question, Cove is the only romantic interest you get um, in base game. There are other DLCs, I believe, on Steam you can uh, buy and download that give you... Um, other romantic interests or like other storylines i think. but yeah cove is the only one you get in base game um there was a dlc that i downloaded to uh get rosie as a base name so all the characters will actually say rosie so we named the character rosie daniels that's what we decided uh last stream oh my lord but yes cove is the only one that you get to, but yeah, I think, to my knowledge. No, you dumbass. Sorry.
doesn't look like well, most of these DLCs are two and three dollars I might end up getting them and coming back to I am now downloading okay go ahead before you play the game go ahead and download the uh, voice name expansion it's free so that way you can get more names for the characters today and you can pick your name um, also, um, evidently there are more, uh, things, so like, there's a step one expansion, step two expansion, and step three expansion. Um, also there is a wedding story that you can download that's DLC. Um, they don't have Dolly, I don't, I don't remember, um, what names they did have, but I don't think they have Dolly. Um, but yes, there's a, there's a wedding story. Oh my god, he's gonna be so cute as an adult. Fuck. <laughs> Hold please. Hold please while I simp. Mr. Holden gets cute too. Cheese and crackers. Oh. So cute. <laughs> also, evidently it's only been out for about a year. Only been out for a year. I just bought all the DLC. <laughs> See, okay, I need I need a donation before I can buy the DLC. Because right now, my money that I'm earning from my current job is actually going to pay my bills. So if if I want DLC for this game, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to uh, get a dono. Because there's, there's no way. I know it's like $3 and whatever, but $3 is $3. That's a that's a decent tip on like twenty dollar tab. So <sighs> the Twitch money not rolling just yet. I'd love to stay, but I have a friend to. That is completely fine to not. Definitely take care of your friend. Looks like someone did an impulse purchase. I've done that like two or three times before and have regretted it. It's always good. I wanna... So the wedding is three. Or... Twelve? Fifteen? It's fifteen dollars to buy all of the mansions. Oh no, I missed one whole... Or... Oh, twelve. I'm... Fifteen. Fifteen is the whole expansion. Not big money, but not money Treble has. Not money Treble has. Oh. Well, because even that little small dono that I got. Because somebody, somebody found my Kofi, because it's technically posted somewhere. And, uh, they found it, and they donated, like, the three dollars, which is, like, the base that you donate through Kofi. Um, and I was like, oh, how fun. Uh, Treble, are you into action games? I actually have a couple action games on my uh, computer. Like, I have some that I had bought previous um, that I just have not played on stream. I literally just started streaming, so when the time comes, I can definitely, um, do that. Uh, you hoped Cove would say yes. That way you wouldn't be the odd one out with Lizzie and Shiloh anymore. Yeah. I can do that. You're so cute! I never... <gasps> I've never caught one before? 
Oh, you poor baby bean. They're really ticklish. Oh, perfect. Thank you, uh, Chidek, for following me on Twitter. Thank you. You want to follow the, the YouTube while you're down there? <laughs> kidding, kidding. That wouldn't be bad either. It's too bad he didn't have a chance before now. The fireflies weren't out when he first moved in, but there must not have been any where he used to live. We can't go until after dinner. After she pointed this out, Lizzie walked back to the table and took her seat. There wasn't much left on her plate. Since this was very true, you decided to finish up your own stuff as well. Go so step closer and eyed what was on the menu for your family's meal. Have you eaten yet? Yeah, my dad and I ate earlier. YouTube would be better for me working nights. I can't. Oh, perfect. Well, hi, Skyblade. Nice to see you in chat. Uh, I think you are a new viewer, if I remember correctly. So, thank you. Thank you for joining chat and pay for the chaos. And the simpery. Oh, you're already subscribed to the YouTube. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, Ragdoll. Thank you so much. I'm glad I could get you simping over this game. Also, I will not watch you play it because I don't want to be um, spoiled because this is my first playthrough and I want to have it genuine reactions for um, genuine reactions for, for stream. Uh, yeah, you can put the recommendations right here in chat. Um, I can look at my stream, my Steam library, uh, when I get almost done with stream. So remind me towards the end, if you're still here, uh, when we finish up, uh, to look at my Steam library and I can tell you, uh, what I've got. Um, Dad and I ate earlier. What did you have? Eggs. The clipped one word answer seemed to discourage Shiloh from asking any more questions. His eyes slowly wandered back to the last scraps of food on his plate. Our phone call with Cove's dad must have ended because your mom came back in the room. Okay. Cove, your dad said you can stay for a little while if you'd like. He's going to come get you before it gets too much later. Sure. Fun. Oh, fun. This will be nice. Yes, Cove is so freaking cute. That why do you think this is not a chill stream? Because Treble is simping. Anyway. As you polished off the meal, you hoped hoped it would be too. The three of you all finished eating shortly after, and Lizzie led the way outside. Remember, don't stray too far. It's fine, Mom. Shiloh tried trailed so closely after Lizzie, he was nearly stepping on her heel. Both hesitated at the door. Coming? After a moment, he did. Bye. Bye, children. The two of you were a good 10 or 15 feet behind Lizzie and Shiloh by the time you walked outside. You pushed the door shut behind you, watching their figures get farther and farther away. Hurry up! Hurry up! You're so slow! We don't have all night! You started to run when you heard Lizzie's voice calling you. Pause when you saw Cove still walking at her. You fell behind, lighting up next to him, matching his stride. He noticed right away. It's okay. You can go ahead if you want. Oh, did y'all hear that? That was the majestic mating cry. <laughs> the treble dactyl. <laughs> That's the lovely sound that sometimes you don't get to hear on Discord because of the fact that when I join VCs, I'm noise suppressed. So all you get to hear is my lovely voice. You don't get to hear the treble dactyl screeches all the time. <laughs> Here, uh, OBS is like, yes, fall open, Mike. Let's have all of the things. <sighs> you can go ahead if you want. You smile and shake your head. I don't. After a short while, the two of you reached the hill behind the house. 
The fireflies were out in full force, floating on the breeze. Their gentle grow, their gentle glow, winking in and out, and creating an almost magical effect. Lizzie had already climbed to the top. Shiloh was spitting in circles somewhere around the middle. Wow. Shiloh took a moment to come over and welcome the both of you to the hill. <laughs> Hi guys! It's really great out, huh? See how many there are? Yeah. A firefly danced through the air, landing on coves sea green. Oh, bye, Ethan. Thanks for joining. You have to admit, it was a pretty funny sight, especially when Cove didn't care. What? Oh. Oh, look! Oh, look! Lizzie has one! That's amazing! Shiloh ran to the highest point of the hill, making sure not to lose his hat or backpack along the way. You hummed as the group divided and conquered, shifting your gaze to the dozens of other fireflies sailing around. The game was on. Spotting one close by, you approached it with assassin-like stealth, crouching down to make yourself seem like less of a threat. By slowly dragging one foot in front of the other, Skyblade, thank you so much for the follow! Five! Five followers away! We're so close to affiliate, and this is the third stream! Hush. Ugh! So excited. Twitch affiliate is within my grasp. So close, I can taste it. No Man's Sky, I've heard about that one. And Ghost Runner. Uh, pretty good. I would probably do No Man's Sky, um, probably over Ghost Runner, just because it sounds more... Prince Valentine, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the stream, and hope you enjoy the chaos. Thank you, Skyblade, I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yes, please spread the word of the treble chaos! That shall rain! Yes, welcome Prince Valentine. Welcome to stream. We are simping for fictional characters today. <clears throat> Slowly dragging one foot in front of the other, wrapped up towards it, arms out. You closed your hand around the little glowing orb, careful not to crush it. The firefly landed on your palm, almost... Almost docile, and you stared down at your prize in delight. Tiny legs tickled your skin and giggled at the sensation. They're so ticklish! They're so tickly! Cove kept up with his own target, but when he tried to grab it, his pink cast waved awkwardly through the air, foiling his efforts to clap his hands around the firefly. Oh, poor baby. Wah! Mm. Cove watched it vanish into thin air with a dissatisfied expression on his face. Urged him to try again. You'll get the next one! Did you catch one? You nodded, and Cove gave up his hunt for the Coming closer and peering at the insects still crawling around across your face. Ooh, Subnautica is a no. Subnautica is a no. Uh, don't know about League of Legends story. I actually have League of Legends. Uh, so I might... I, I'll, I'll look into League of Legends story. Well, before I start any more games, I'm gonna finish this one first. And this one has like four stages and we're barely in sta step one. Uh, you held out your hand, and he leaned closer, eyes widening a tad behind his glasses. You're all good. 
you're all good, you can, uh, again, you can catch the VOD here on Twitch, or, uh, if you are subscribed to the channel, you can find it on the channel, because it will go up later today. Hove remained hypnotized by the little bug as he inched his hand closer to yours. Ultimately, he settles his fingers lightly over top of the ones you were holding open. The last thing you wanted was to accidentally figure the off. <gasps> so cute. The flyer fly, noticing the new connection, crawled up on quietly gasped. But that's my hand. Not my thumb. Because it made me pick. So cute! It's not hand holding. Not yet. It worked. Yeah, you got one. Poe's lips turned up into a cool smile. Eyes shined brighter than the... Thanks, Rosie. With a laugh, he gave the palm of your hand a friendly smack, performing an awkward low five. Startled by the extreme movement, the tiny light disappeared before you could even blink. Firefly was gone. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Gave it. Okay, I couldn't keep it forever. You're right. Right. Bugs have to stay outside. Get another. Uh huh. We can work together. His face broke out into a wide grin. <laughs> we'll get a bunch. With renewed vigor, you ran out in. You're not sure how much time passed because you were in the thick of it all. Thick of it. All you could focus on was the adventure at hand. No critter was safe from your grasp. At first, you tried to keep a tally of how many you'd caught, but once the number grew higher than ten, you had no more fingers left to count with. You were having the time of your life, racing up and down the hill, with the crash of the ocean and everyone's laughter echoing in the background. Rosie! Rosie, this way! You followed the sound of Cove's voice, the top of the hill, watching as he stretched his arms in front of him, reaching with his fingers and only narrowly missing his target. Cove and you took turns trying to scare Firefly the directions of the other. You showed him some techniques that you had learned, like how to cup your hands correctly. You listened attentively before trying for himself. There were a few times when you almost ran into each other, giggling as you dove to the side at the last moment. Luckily, disaster was avoided each time. It was an overall huge success with the both of you catching multiple fireflies. Eventually, the fireflies began to thin out and your collapse. You decided it was time to call off the hunt. Cove didn't complain. He breathed in heavily and his face seemed really flushed. He's so cute! That was fun. A lot of fun. You smiled at him broadly, happy that he enjoyed the activity. Yeah. Rosie, Cove, come on! Get up here, we're gonna have a race! The shouting caught you off guard. It had been quite a while since you heard from Lizzie or Shiloh. You glanced over to see them both standing on the top of the hill again. Lizzie, be 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 Lizzie beckoning to you with quick hand gestures. If she was like that, you knew there wasn't much room for disagreement. Up the incline you went. In the corner of your eye, you saw Cove was coming as well. He didn't care for Lizzie a lot, so you thought he might be intrigued just by the idea of a race. Hi! Cove. Hi, Cove! You can't roll down the hill. You just hurt your you'll just hurt your arm again. You'll be the referee for the rest of it. As Lizzie pointed this out, Cove froze in place. Oh, that kind of race. He frowned down at his cast. That was the second time it got in the way. Yeah, 
Yeah, you'll watch. See who gets to the bottom first. That's important. Got it? I guess. Boy. I'm gonna punch Lizzie in the face. I don't care if she's my sister. The cast was sturdy. If he was careful, he could have done it. Lizzie might have just been looking for a reason to make someone else the referee. But it was already decided. Oh, should we take a raise? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stay with you. We want our attraction. Really? Really? You don't have to. It's okay. I wanna watch. You move beside him to the top of the hill, even though Lizzie eyed you in your face. That's not how races work. We only need one referee. Shrugging your shoulders, you refuse to budge, and Lizzie let out a huff before throwing her hands in the air. Fine, I'll be the winner, winner whether you join or not. Lizzie moved to lay down and Shiloh did the same. Cove stood slightly to the side to get a better vantage point, and you stood next to him. Count down! Cove stood up a little straighter. It seemed like he was taking his newfound referee duties seriously. Three, two, one, go! Lizzie and Shiloh took off, letting gravity do the work and rolling at high speed towards the bottom of the hill. You and Cove leaned forward and watched them go, eyes peeled for which which of the two would reach the bottom first. They were both neck and neck until about halfway down the hill, Lizzie started to gear off to the side, giving Shiloh a huge advantage. He obviously hadn't noticed a thing, and as soon as Shiloh reached the bottom of the hill, he jumped up excitedly and threw his hands in the air. I won! Almost immediately, he fell back onto the grass, still dizzy from his roll down the hill. Lizzie stomped out of the bush she'd ended up in, sputtering angrily and brushing leaves from the front of her dress. Not bad. You just got lucky. Let's do it again and see who wins for real. Kids, it's time to come in. Oh! You snickered, feeling grateful you hadn't been a part of the mini debacle. You caught Cove's eyes and saw that he was doing the same. It had gotten late and was beginning to feel just a little bit chilly as you made your way out of the hill. The cold in the air hadn't damped anyone's spirit. The four of you walked back home together, side by side, down your neighborhood street, discussing the evening, with each person trying to prove that they were the one who caught the most fireflies. You knew that whoever really did catch the most didn't matter much anyway. All that matters was that you met them. All that mattered was that you all had a good good time, which judging by the smile on everyone's faces, you did. Oh I think we have time for one more and that'll probably be I'm gonna do the skin sand castle. Uh. Oh gosh. Who oh, wasn't able to do many things that summer? When you and him and Shiloh sat on the shoreline one bright morning, you could tell he wanted to be in the water. There was no way he'd be swimming any soon, not with his past. Waves washed a single shell to the shore, glittering in blue, set the reminder of the places he came. What you'd heard about cold old life so far in tiny pieces and fragments, you can tell that he'd do anything to be passed off. Like, made a pact with a witch or something, get it off his arm. You thought about how this summer last year must have been totally different from his old home and his mom dad. But now he was here, with you and Philo and Lizzie and everyone else. He couldn't even go in the sea. This town wasn't bad, but it had all your favorite things in it. But sitting there on the same beach you'd grown up on, you'd understand that not everybody else felt the same way about sunset. You watched him from the corner of your eye quietly and finally said aloud what you had been pondering. I wish I could go in. The water? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna be able to do it soon. Cove only sighed in response. Apparently, soon wasn't soon enough. 
It's so pretty, ocean. Hmm. And huge. There could be anything out there. Like mermaids. Yeah! Yeah! Um... It might be funny. But it's not like there's anything we can do about it. Obviously not interested in hearing much more of your input on the situation, Cove turned back to the water. But as he looked away, something about Shiloh's... Hey building a sand castle? Um. Sort of. I was only playing around while you were talking. I'm listening. Uh. Maybe I could too. I've only made big piles before. It's really nothing special. I'm sure you'll be good at it right away. You do it then. Shiloh's cheeks lit up. You could tell he was a little bit uncomfortable to have Cove's expectant hair on him. I'll play too. I've never really made one before. Okay! Itchy. He pushed his hands back to his seashells and sand and nodded. I don't do a lot. Here's how I like to get a house started. Oh, I don't do a lot. Here's how I like to get a house started. Shiloh, focusing more intently uh, than you'd ever seen him, guided the two of you through the nest. Into a dead death. It didn't take long for the three of you to reach. Each have humble structures prepared. That's all. That's all, kind of. You can do anything now. Like, make it bigger, add some seashells, carve a pretty pattern. I bet you'll have great ideas. Okay. I'm gonna make it bigger. Mine is gonna be a real castle. Cool! cool. This is gonna be a house! Looking at the base of your sandcastle, you decided to mansion. Looking at the base of your sandcastle, you decided to design a mansion. The better part of the next hour was spent focusing on your own work. The boys were even Shiloh didn't sneak as many everyone else as he usually did. You finished shaping before either of them did, glancing up from what you'd built. It seems you got done so fast that they're, they already searched around for extra decoration. Shiloh had grabbed most of the really interesting stuff, and Cove had a lot of the shells, but there were still options. The first thing you reached for was a... Red bottle cap. The best fit for your mansion, you decided. And it seemed like the lid... From the sports drink that Lizzie was trying to convince your mom's... Oh, it looked like the lid from the sports drink that Lizzie was trying to convince your mom's to let her try. So you put it in a funny place, where it'd take a second look to see it. Pleased with your result, you finally took a proper look around that wasn't focused on the sand itself. Both Cove and Shiloh seemed super immersed as well. You knew you could probably sneak a peek at either, either one's work. Cove sand. The castle Cove had built looked surprisingly tidy, especially for someone in a cast. He must have worked really hard. He hasn't even finished digging the huge gaping moat in front, but it was already enormous. You got the sense from the enthusiasm he was digging with that the with that the doctor was probably going to find a bunch of sand when he finally removed the plaster. The silence was then broken. What's on top of yours, Shiloh? You peek closer and discovering something shiny sticking out of Shiloh's sand chimney. Oh, it's just a gum wrapper. Wrapper. It looks like smoke. Neat. It's good. That's smart.
you really know a lot about this. Shiloh smiled without a word. And that was that for the current topic. Rosie, can I see what you did? Sure. He scooted just a bit nearer and began surveying your work. All you really knew about mansions was they were supposed to be big, though you'd gone really big. If the size of the country club that Lizzie played golf at compared to Cove and Shiloh's buildings, it was the size, it was the size of the country club that Lizzie played golf at compared to Cove and Shiloh's buildings, probably even bigger. Shiloh quickly jumped, quickly decided to jump in the new conversation. Hey Rosie, what did you do? This is my mansion. My butt hurts. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> it looks great. Your house is so big. I guess mansions are really big houses. Huh? Is being a house bad? No. No, but we each made our own place. It's the same. I think we are. Go raise an eyebrow at that. If some. If something is the only one of that thing, that makes it special. Yeah, for sandcastles and stuff. People too. My dad always says how everybody is their own man. A real individual. Mm. I don't think I'm very special. Why? Why not? Nobody else is you. Silo simply shook. I'm not... I'm not different. A beat passed between... Cove then looked down at his own work. Okay. He hadn't seemed to be bothered, leaving the disagreement hanging there. Cove had other things on his My dad tried to get me to make sandcastles before. Mm. I didn't want to. Cove trailed off. Again, there was a moment of silence. Silo shifted and opened his mouth to say something. Cove spoke up before he could. He didn't think he noticed that Shiloh was going to talk. Hey, do you know what happened when your mom's met my dad, Rosie? He waited to see if Shiloh could, could say what he wanted to, and he didn't, he considered Cove's question. I wasn't there. They didn't tell me. I just remember what happened when I met your dad. Mr. Holden had been a weird stranger then. Well, he was still kind of strange. No other parent acted like but you knew, but you knew him better at this point. Now that you thought about it, it made a lot of sense that Cove's dad talked to him, being unique. You were pulled from your thoughts when Cove continued. Oh. oh, well, I was there. You know what's better than not getting all eight hours of sleep and waking up like you got kicked in the head? Watching Treble Simp? I don't know what's better than not getting all eight hours of sleep because that sounds like it sucks. Because I didn't, I know I didn't get eight hours of sleep and I am dragging butt right now. Also did not help that first thing I had to do this morning, go to the freaking dinner. Ugh. Do not recommend at all. That and going home after school to go to bed. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Always loved a good afternoon nap. I think they need to bring back nap time for adults. Like, I would benefit so highly from nap. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. After stream, I might. Naps. Good. They are 100% treble approved. Afternoon naps are treble approved. Heard it here first. I don't think my mom has met your dad. Oh, sorry. That's Shiloh's voice. Whew. <laughs> oh, y'all making me sleepy. I don't think my mom has met your dad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he hasn't. He hasn't. Woo! Rosie's parents and my dad met the same day I met her. I'm gonna say what happened. Shiloh frowned himself, ducking his head. His hat cast a shadow over his face. You could still tell he was upset at not being included in Cove's choice of topic. Naps are great. Naps are great. <laughs> that was 
kind of boring for him. So giving people their own turn to say things they want is important too. I think Shiloh wants to talk too. Huh? We're talking. Not right now. I'm talking to you. He can listen. Shiloh's expression barely flickered at the word. He still looked put off. Ko continued like the interruption hadn't happened. He was determined to tell the tale. When he moved here, he bring a lot of things to the only some stuff that would fit in Dad's car. We didn't even get a moving truck. Sat in there while Dad brought it all inside. Mm. I didn't want to get out because I knew Dad would make me look around the new house. I really did. Lips twisted in a frown as he recalled that. Then I saw your mom's. They were in a car too. Stopped at your house. I guess they were coming back from. My dad noticed. He waved his hand, then went over to the front of your house where he started talking to them. I don't know what they said. I couldn't hear it. But he couldn't see me anymore, so he was looking the other way. I opened the car door and left. We get away and went behind the houses. I found those hills there. The ones where we met for the first time. Cove nodded, then stared at you. He stared back. He didn't go on to say anything more. Uh... Aren't you going to finish your story? Cove's brow wrinkled like he didn't understand. Surprise. Huh? That's all that happened. You want to tell the story? If nothing happened. I don't get what the point was. That was how our parents met. Make the story up. That's not really my point. Cove was just not understanding the issue here. Shiloh's mouth twisted in a scowl of disbelief. He said nothing. Why'd you bring that up, anyway? Slight shrug of Cove's shoulder. Wow. I was thinking about it because the sandcastle. They remember when I moved to. Dad showed me the beach first. Went back to the car to unpack. He was really excited about it for some. Bo's brow furrowed a little more. Quickly raked his hands through, through the sand. I get it. He thought maybe Mr. Holden wasn't that excited about the beach and was instead hoping Cove might be. The line of conversation had come to its end. Even Cove was done with it. Some other topic had popped into his. Kylo fidgeted uncomfortably in the sand. Shiloh fidgeting uncomfortably in the sand had made Cove aware of his presence again. They looked at each other and you could see only wonder. And you could only wonder what this might be about. Hey Shiloh. Yeah? Why are you always turning so red, even when nothing is... Clearly startled, he jerked back. Nothing you or Shiloh had expected that be how he got included in the conversation again. I don't know, I guess. Okay. Kind of weird. Shiloh's eyes were wide with embarrassment. His lips twitched and blushing even harder than before. Ah! Welcome back! We're still in the middle of Sandcastle mode. We haven't missed too much. <clears throat> Shiloh's eyes were wide with embarrassment and his lips twitched and he was blushing even harder than before. Maybe it wasn't only this. Perhaps it was simply the last straw, but it was a big deal to Shiloh. A huge deal. He didn't just look sad. He seemed almost panicked. You weren't sure if he was about to cry or run away or what, but you soon got an answer. Why do you wear glasses? Most kids don't wear glasses and nobody is named Cove. Who asked you to come? Who asked you to come? It was probably just your dad bugging Rosie's family some more because you don't have anyone else who'll ever play with you. Um. Um. Cove blinked. 
The tension on the beach was suddenly uncomfortable in a way you didn't know how to laugh off. It didn't seem like the kind of thing he'd get upset about, though you hadn't ever known what kind of thing would bother Sean. <sighs> I'm sorry. Me too. I was just wondering. Oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Whoopsie doodles. Uh, you want to keep building sandcastles? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cove glanced at Shiloh, whose smile hadn't returned to full power. Then at you. Alright. What a relief. You were glad it was settled. You all went back to making more sand building, but the whole mood... Yeah. Whole, whole outburst. Whole outburst. Cove looked as confused as ever about why the other boy had blown up. Air stayed uncomfortable the rest of the afternoon, right up to the moment that Shiloh's mom appeared at the beach to take him home. At least she tried to do something to resolve it, though. It seemed like it helped. Even though Shiloh's smile when he said goodbye to Cove wavered, it stayed as bright as ever for you. That had to count for something. But with Shiloh gone and the sun going down, you knew it was time for you the two of you trailed out of the park together toward the neighborhood the walk home was quiet you passed by familiar landmarks something in the sidewalk in the perfect view Bob was clearly caught up in thinking about something ask Hope. something was definitely up so you chose to reach out to him and ask hey Cove is everything you're making a funny face. Oh. Oh, I was just wondering. Bo fell silent again for a few more seconds and sighed. Mm. Why'd Shiloh act like that? I said he was all red a lot. That you shrugged, sir. There wasn't really much you had to say about Shiloh. He was Lizzie's friend. Yes, I can get it. I would why he would do that. Sometimes I get really mad too. Despite seemingly coming to a conclusion, Bo's mood was still power. Um Hey, Rosie? Shiloh tell the truth. Huh? His gaze his gaze left yours as he dug sole of his shoe into the ground. He looked oddly vulnerable. My dad hang out with me. I know he talks to your moms about me, but comfortable weight said best of the question. You liked spending time with Cove. You didn't have to think hard about it. You knew you did. But you couldn't help feeling guilty. Cove still didn't know what happened when he met Mr. Please make time with you. Those shoulders relax. You hadn't even noticed that he had tensed up. Yeah, I thought too. Anyway, I didn't think you were pretending. I just wanted to make sure it's okay at all. Thanks. Telling me. Your throat tightened. It's hard to meet Cove's earnest gaze again. Keeping secrets was hard. You're welcome. By now, the two of you were on the sidewalk near your house. Time to part ways. Step forward and wrapped your arms around him tightly. Turned your head, resting your. Cove stood there awkwardly, hands at his side. He wasn't much of a hugger, but you didn't get the impression he was unhappy. Or. Bye, Cove. See you tomorrow. Bye, Rosie. You pulled away, then jogged towards your house. Looked back, you saw Cove making his way back home. As if he felt your eyes on him, he turned around. He waved. You still felt a little unsure with what you were supposed to do about the deal Cove's dad had offered. You didn't want to say anything bad or something you shouldn't. You had no idea how Cove would take it either. It would be terrible if it made you feel bad. 
What if he didn't want to play with you anymore? You might change your mind sometime. There was always tomorrow after all. For now, it was definitely something. Crazy. But I hope you enjoy your weekend. My weekend starts. Uh, I have to go to work. <laughs> Being a waitress and all that. With a final look, you hide your house. Uh, we're gonna save this right So some of you are still new in chat, so, uh, tell me. Um... What, what is a question you want to ask? Hmm. Oh, you'll have to see. Tired. Ah, hi, Gabe. Still around? There's five of you. Wow. Went uh, down to three. Well, we were just chilling. Glad to see y'all are back. With Steve. Definitely we that restart. Yeah, um, you don't have any questions to ask me? You have my full attention at very moment. Uh, I did do a Q&A on the- Definitely a lot of easy questions were answered there. Ah, glad you could stay, babe. After everybody left, I was like, oh goodness. Oh no, Gabe! This question? Okay. Um, are there any- Oh goodness. Ah, big stretch. I'm gonna have to get like a cup of coffee or something. Very tired. <laughs> I have stuff I as much as I want to. Um guilty pleasure. Um I honestly don't know. I I couldn't tell. Couldn't tell you. Oh, here we go. Um, I have the guilty pleasure of watching Sims playthroughs and having all of these big ideas for the uh, channel, but not doing because <laughs> uh, I thought about doing not so berry challenge. Play one family for 10 generations. Uh, some of the generational things have certain acts acts because not base game ah hobbies uh outside of this um singing is do now on in youtube videos um um 
I do like to um, Do you like to color? Book and good pack. Unopened crayons. Um. I play Magic the Gathering. There's your there's your fun trouble fact. It, I play Magic the Gathering. Um, I play it. IRL with some friends of mine. Play. I play Commander. I'm working on making a modern deck so far. Definitely. So definitely um, getting into that, that's one of Of course, Dungeons and Dragons being love, love Dungeons and Dragons. Don't know if I will ever like run a one spot here channel, um, or if that will be something just me and my friends down the road. Kind of thing but i definitely want to get some more experience um dming and all that fun stuff i need to probably find some more one shots that are probably pre-written because mine don't turn out oh well. um still working on that Those are, those are the hobby. I don't have to look at over here any in front of me, as I have just. Screen chat up in front of my face. Back of uh, what you guys are saying. I've actually gotten into D and D over a year ago, and it's. I'm so glad. Um. How many characters do you have? Um, because before I deleted two uh, on TV Beyond to pick up some space, two characters, um, I had six on D&D Beyond, seven in total, seven characters that I could pull. Uh, one of them being Althea, uh, that has her own series on the channel. Uh, should be recording the end of that for play. Um, might do some laundry first and then record that. Get that maybe up. Oh. Y'all can have to get it up next. And everything like I used to do for uploads of my videos. Super swamped with still trying to find the the work the the real life work, the school Personal. Lots of balls to juggle, and sometimes not enough hands, <laughs> in all honesty. Oh my god. Probably hit the end. So I wanted to say thank you all so much for coming. Um, I'm glad you got to watch the Simbury and Sue. Um, ooh, cool. I need to I need to introduce your Goliath, the Great Sard, to my Goliath with Warhammer. <laughs> 
So, uh, may have to hit you up on Discord for that one. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are now four followers away from affiliate. That it will be one more thing to cross off um, on the list. Thank you so much for tuning in as um, the chaos ensued and we got around to doing all the things. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for all your follows. Um, uh, so keep a watch out. Uh, maybe opening commissions here shortly. Um, that may be like somewhat of an income until I officially get um, affiliate. Um, but until then, just keep an eye out on Twitter um, for most of the updates for the channel and Twitch because um, that's where I'll be posting to, to get all the information out. But thank you guys so, so much. And we'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.